The catecholamines, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine belong to a wider group of neurotransmitters called monoamines, that is, compounds possessing a single amine group. All of the catecholamine transmitters are synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine in a succession of metabolic steps, each controlled by a different enzyme. The presence or absence of the successive enzymes determines which transmitter is synthesized by a given neuron. In a reaction catalyzed by tyrosine hydroxylase, a hydroxyl group is added to tyrosine, yielding L34-dihydroxyphenylalanine, L-DOPA. Tyrosine hydroxylase is the rate-limiting enzyme in catecholamine synthesis. A second enzyme, aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase, catalyzes the removal of a carboxyl group to yield dopamine. Note that only neurons that possess the tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme have the capacity to produce any catecholamine transmitter, and that L-DOPA is the precursor of all three. Once synthesized, catecholamines are packaged into granules or vesicles for subsequent release. About a million nerve cells in the human brain contain dopamine. Dopaminergic neurons are found in several main groups, including the mesostriatal system and the mesolimbocortical pathway. As the name indicates, the mesostriatal pathway, also called the nigrostriatal pathway, originates in the substantia nigra and nearby areas of the mesencephalon or midbrain, and ascends as part of the medial forebrain bundle to innervate the striatum, specifically the caudate nucleus and putamen. The mesolimbocortical pathway also originates in the midbrain, in the ventral tegmental area, and projects to the limbic system, amygdala, nucleus accumbens, hippocampus, and the cortex. The mesostriatal dopamine system is thought normally to play a crucial role in motor control, and damage to these neurons results in the resting tremors or even complete paralysis of Parkinson's disease. Besides its role in the coordination of body movements, dopamine is also believed to be involved in motivation, reward, and reinforcement. Catecholamines are subject to multiple routes of inactivation. Following release, both dopamine and norepinephrine are taken back up into the nerve terminal by cell membrane transporters. Although this is an effective method of terminating the synaptic actions of catecholamines, degradative processes must also exist to prevent excessive catecholamine accumulation. Several important enzymes participate in catecholamine breakdown. The catabolism of catecholamines primarily involves two enzymes, cytosolic catechol O methyltransferase and mitochondrial monoamine oxidase, or MAO. MAO inhibitors act as dopaminergic agonists and have been used to treat depression. Several other dopamine agonists, such as cocaine and amphetamines, act by inhibiting the reuptake of dopamine from the nerve terminal. Several subtypes of dopamine receptors have been discovered and have been labeled D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5, numbered in the order of their discovery. The effect of many drugs are specific to one or only a few of these receptor subtypes. Dopaminergic antagonists include reserpine, which prevents the storage of monoamines in synaptic vesicles, and alpha-methyl-P-tyrosine, AMPT, which inhibits tyrosine hydroxylase. Several antipsychotic drugs that block dopamine receptors have been used to treat schizophrenia.